Hey everyone, how's it going? Here today with an awesome video which features a drop test between the Samsung Galaxy S4 and the iPhone 5. Now it's fairly obvious that these are the top of the line phones when it comes to Android and iOS, both these being the rivaling predecessors in today's market of 2013. This is the, again the Samsung Galaxy S4 with its fairly plasticky build quality to it, which has been the case in Samsung's past Galaxy lineup. And this is the iPhone 5, which new this time around is features an aluminum back with a glass front. Again, this is an aluminum unibody casing, and this iPhone's been out since the fall of 2012, and this is the brand new Samsung Galaxy S4. So today in the drop test, we're gonna be dropping each phone from three different heights, one pocket level, one face and chest level, and then one above the head to simulate the most realistic drop of what it would be like in current day or in standard conditions if you were to drop your phone. We're going to drop each phone from each height and then evaluate each phone after each drop. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and first do the pocket drop test with the S4 and then with the iPhone 5. Alright, so first up is the drop test between the at pocket height with the S4 and the iPhone 5. Now I'm going to be recording video as well on each phone. We're going to see if it makes it through the drops. And I also have a camera down here to get a close-up shot of each drop. So this is a GoPro Hero 3 that I have, as well as the camera there and then the camera on the phone. So we're going to try and get three separate angles for each drop. So this first one again is pocket height of the Samsung Galaxy S4 to simulate if you were to put it in your pocket and miss. So here goes. So we're recording the video here and we're going to go. All right, so as inferred, there are a couple scuffs and scratches on the back of the S4. Nothing too major, though. The screen and camera are still flawless, though. Again, this is a plastic back, so it's going to be fairly prone to scratching. Nothing too major, though, and the phone is still definitely usable, and this was from the pocket height drop. All right, so now we have the iPhone 5 drop test. Again, this is from the pocket height, about three and a half feet. We're going to have the video going on here, the GoPro, and there. We're just going to go ahead and give it a drop, again, as if you were holding it from your pocket and letting it go. So we'll start the camera on here. Whoops. Much like the S4, the iPhone didn't suffer anything too serious. You have a couple of dents and dings there, but this is nothing that's going to affect the functionality of the phone. It's very much usable. A couple little scuffs and scratches on the edges again, but camera, screen are fine, and that's the iPhone 5. All right, so it seems as though that the S4 made it fairly unscathed through the first pocket drop test. A couple minor scratches on the plastic back, but that's a given again. This is a plastic back, which can again also be replaced. So we're gonna go ahead and now this is the chest drop. So we're gonna simulate as if you're holding it at your chest and it slipped out of your hands. So again, I have all three cameras going and we're gonna go ahead, one, two, three. After the chest height drop, the S4 is still in fairly good condition. Just a couple more dings and scratches on the side. Again, it's plastic. It's going to do that. It's expected. Screen and camera are still in prime condition. Phone is usable. Nothing you can't complain about. Again, this is from about a 5.5 foot, 6 foot drop. So nothing too bad. Screen and camera are still flawless. Okay, so here is the iPhone 5 from chest slash face height. Again, got all three cameras going. We're going to go ahead and drop it on three. One, two, three. Three. So again, it follows in the footsteps of its friend and comes out of this unscathed. Screen is still perfectly fine. Both back glass panels are fine. Camera is fine. It's got a couple dents and dings along the metal edges there where it's tampered off, but that's fine. It's just the way that the iPhone is going to react to that. The aluminum unibody is definitely holding this thing together, and the screen is perfectly fine. Made it through unscathed on this one. All right, so, so far both phones have made it through the first two heights of drop test at about three and a half feet and then just about six feet at my eye level. I'm 6'4 and I'm going to go ahead and drop the S4 fully extended arm. I'd say this is about seven feet and a little bit. So we're going to see how it lands. I'm going to drop it just starting out on its side and we're going to see how it ends up from there. So I'm going to go ahead and back up here and then also move this camera. And remind you, both of these phones did start out in a brand new state. So I'm going to go ahead and drop these. These were both brand new phones and this is the S4 for about seven feet and a little bit. Dropping it on the side in three, two, one. <laughs> All right, sadly this time we weren't as fortunate and when the phone was dropped from about seven feet onto the bottom right hand corner, it suffered a fairly deep crack that spider webbed throughout the phone. The back battery cover popped off, the battery stayed intact and the phone stayed on, and the video continued to record. However, there is a fairly big, large crack in the bottom right corner, and shards of glass can be felt when you run your finger over it. However, the rest of the screen, the main part of it, can still be used, so you could continue using your phone if you suffered this kind of damage. 
All right, so as you saw, the S4 didn't quite hold up in the screen. We got a minor crack on the edge. Again, it landed on its side. So here's the iPhone 5 now. Again, we're gonna do it from seven feet in a little bit, arm fully extended. We're gonna see how this one fares. Again, I'm gonna drop it on its side as if it were a everyday situation. Again, this is a high drop, but again, it's very much a possibility. So here it is, iPhone 5 from seven feet. Yeah. All right, so there's Apple's awesome build quality. When dropped from seven feet, the iPhone stood strong, not suffering any cracks in the back or front glass, nor the camera. The screen stood strong. Again, there was a few couple little abrasions on the side of the phone from previous drops, but that's come to expect as the aluminum is a little bit softer and more likely to chip. But the screen is still 100% from seven foot drop. All right, so for this last test, since both phones are still in working order and you can still use the screen and access the camera and whatnot, we're going to go ahead and do a somewhat unlikely drop situation of about 10 feet right here. I'm standing up on this pole. Again, I have all three cameras going. And as I said, both phones are still in working order. The S4 does have a cracked screen. However, we can still record, use it. It just does have a shattered screen. But we're going to go ahead and drop it once more and see if that puts it out of its misery. So here is the S4 from height of 10 feet. I have all cameras going here. And we're going to go ahead and drop it in three, two, one. Yeah. All right. So here's Samsung's fairly cheap build quality coming into play. As you can see, the screen is completely shattered. Shards of glass can be felt when running your finger over it. The back camera as well is 100% totally blown out. And that meant that on impact, the video stopped recording and it was erased from the phone. So that's why I couldn't show you the video from the phone in the last clip. Sadly to say, shortly after I shot this video, the phone turned off and I could not get it to turn back on. It's a sad day for the Samsung Galaxy S4. All right, so as we can see, the S4 is fairly done for. The screen still works, but there's shatters all over the phone on the camera, the front screen, and whatnot. The iPhone 5, however, has not been dropped yet from 10 feet. So we're going to see what happens to the screen, the camera. I have everything recording. So here it is, iPhone 5 from 10 feet. Three, two, one. All right, Apple, now you're starting to impress me. A 10-foot drop, and this screen is still perfect. Again, obviously, there's a couple minor scratches and scuffs on the side, but we've seen that all along from any height. This screen is still 100% flawless, not even a crack on the thing, and this was just dropped from 10 feet high. Yes, 10 feet high, and we don't have one scratch on the screen, nor is either the back glass chip. The only thing affected is the aluminum around the edges. Everything else still is perfectly fine. All right, so it's fairly obviously that despite all the criticism the iPhone 5 has seemed to receive, the build quality is unmatched. We've dropped it from four different heights, including a 10-foot drop, and there's not one crack on the screen nor the camera. So for this last go, we're going to give it a 10-foot drop face first and see what this does to the iPhone. I have all three cameras going, so here it is, as high as we can go with an iPhone 5 face first, 10-foot drop in three, two, one. Talk about a tough smartphone. After a 10 foot drop face first right onto the glass, the screen does not crack one bit. There's a tiny little fracture up in the top left corner by where the service bars would be. Again, just a side note, the reason it says no service is not a result of the drop. I just simply don't have a SIM card in here. However, unfortunately on the back, the gla back glass is shattered. But look at that sapphire lens, still 100% ready to take pictures and videos not affected by the drop, but that back glass is fairly shattered. All right, so as you've seen so far, the iPhone 5 has withstood everything we've thrown at it. Now, this seems a little crazy, but what we're going to do is go ahead and run the iPhone 5 over with the car. Yeah, this thing stood up to two 10-foot drops, one face down, and not to mention, we don't even have a sliver on the screen. So we're going to go ahead, put this under the wheel of the car, screen up, and drive over. Let's see what it has. I'm guessing this will be the end of the iPhone 5. Again, the 4S, or the S4 is long dead. So let's see what this does to the iPhone 5. Okay, I've given up. We simply can't crack this phone. We just drove her with a freaking SUV. And that crack you heard, obviously not the phone screen, because as you can see by this shot, it is still uncracked. The only damage this phone's really suffered is that top back glass panel has been damaged from the previous drop. 
But other than that, the iPhone 5 has stood up to everything we've thrown at it. Two drops from 10 foot, getting run over by a car, and all the previous drops, and we still can't crack the screen. So it really does beg the question, is Apple's build quality enough to put it that far above the brand new Samsung Galaxy S4? Now, no doubt, the Samsung Galaxy S4 is an awesome smartphone. The features it packs, the OS on it is a w all wonderful. But if you're looking for build quality in a tough phone, you really can't steer away from the iPhone 5. As the S4 is consistent of a more primarily plastic build quality, as opposed to the iPhone's aluminum unibody, which makes it that much stronger of a device. Now guys, please take a second out of your day if you can, and leave a comment and also like this video as it took a long time to shoot, edit, and produce. Thanks so much for watching, hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys later.